What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to improve your video quality in Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12 or 13. Now just before we get into this video, if you would like to request a tutorial on Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12, 13, Photoshop, After Effects or even Cinema 4D, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Before we go any further, here's an example of what this effect looks like. So hopefully you like it, it's very simple to do and first of all I'm just going to drag on my face cam which is from my latest video on my gaming channel which is CS Plays, if you haven't seen it yet a link to it will be in the description. And let me just look for a part where I don't look so stupid. Okay, so I've established I look stupid in every frame, so we're just going to continue. First of all, the first video effects we're going to add on is known as Sharpen. Now, if you don't have this right here, come to View, Windows Layout, and click Default Layout. From there, come here and look for Sharpen, which is right here. Add on the default, and here we go. Now, the amount is currently set at 0.500. This is default. This is the standard camera one. So 0.500 just gives you a starter and if it's already good enough for you then you can leave it there. If not you can just mess around with it and change it. So I'm just going to go through this and you can use the mouse wheel going up and down. You can see if you go too much it becomes grainy. You can see the face coming grainy there. So just mess around with it. I'd say 700 is best for me. Yours may vary. So again up to you. The next thing we're going to add on is a color corrector. So come up here color corrector add on the default one and we're only going to be messing with the low and the mids now for the low I recommend going a bit to the blue now yeah your screen will go blue don't worry because we're going to fix it for the mids head towards the yellow slash orange so about there a little bit down because it's a bit it's pretty much red there we go and now there's one last thing we've got to add on which is brightness and contrast so again add on the default and this time we're only messing with the contrast so, again, don't mess with it too much, you can see, this is a pretty strong effect. So, you can use the mouse wheel again, so just go up one, but you can see the difference right there. If I just put this all at zero, this is the standard how it is, but if we go up one, the colours become more vibrant, and I guess the little tint that is on the camera lens just goes away. So you can see it looks much more better, and let's see, yeah, that's a bit too much. Or, yeah, I'll say that is probably good for mine, 0.200. And then, if you come back here to all of them, just click at the top, you can save the preset. So come here, call it whatever you want, press the save button, that way you can come here and select it whenever you want to. Same for color corrector, save the preset, and the brightness and contrast. Now, that is all done, and in this video, I actually have the lights off, simply because I'm playing a scary game. So you can see, even in the dark, it still looks good. So it's got the exact same settings on, the lights come on at the end. Here we go. There you go, you can see it still looks all good. And the colours are more vibrant and the quality is overall much more better. Now you're probably wondering, what if you only record your computer screen, can you improve that quality as well? Yes you can, I recommend adding the sharpen. You can then go and add the colour corrector as well as the brightness and contrast with the exact same settings I've shown you. Now you don't have to add the color corrector and brightness and contrast but I would definitely recommend the sharpen. So that is it for this video, that is how you improve the video quality in Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12 or 13. Like I said at the start of the video, if you'd like to request a tutorial on Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12, 13, Photoshop, After Effects or even Cinema 4D, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. With that being said, be sure to go follow me on Twitter, I'll keep you updated what I'm posting and what I'm posting. Also be sure to go and check out my Snapchat, I'll just keep you updated what I'm doing throughout my day. Be sure to go ahead and check out my gaming channel, I'll post four times a week. And finally, be sure to go ahead and check out my technology news channel, I'll keep you updated on the best technology news. That's it for this video, thank you so much for watching, please subscribe, rate, and peace.